Hi guys, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to wear and rock the dark lips look. Dark lips are very popular for the fall this year, so I thought I would share with you guys how I usually do my makeup when I'm wearing dark lipstick. So I'm going to go right ahead and show you how I, um, how I usually do my makeup, especially when I'm wearing dark lipstick. I've already gone ahead and done my um, foundation, my concealer, and done my eyebrows and all that stuff, so I'm going to skip those steps just because that would take a long time to show you guys, but now I'm going to specifically start off with showing you how I do my eye makeup when I am going to wear a dark lipstick. For those of you that are not familiar with this, this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and this color is the color Sin. And Sin is more of a um, shimmery kind of color. Very similar to on the bottle versus the clear ones. And then there's a couple different um, primer potions. But this is the one that I like to use. And I always use this before I put on my eyeshadow. I'm just going to start off with the Naked Palette 2. And I'm going to start off with the first color down here. And this color is called Foxy. So I'm going to dip into Foxy. And then I'm also going to dip into this more shimmery color. And this one is called Booty Call. So here's Foxy. And here's Booty Call. I am going to use the Urban Decay Naked Palette 2 brush that it comes with. And it does have the creaser brush on the end and then the flat end as well. So I'm going to start with a flat tip and again I'm going to dip into my Foxy. I'm going to put both sides of the brush in the Foxy and then I'm going to lightly dip both sides in Booty Call as well. I'm just going to go on the inner corner of my eyelid working my way just into the middle of the eyelid. I'm also going to take this Urban Decay 24-7 shadow, what is it, shadow pencil, and that's in Sin, which is the same color as um, the primer potion that I was talking to you about, and it's just like a champagne-y kind of color, and again, I'm just going to go over that eyeshadow that I just added. And I'm just really going to make the inner corners of my eyelids very, like, shimmery. And I'm more just so trying to illuminate the inner corners of my eyelids. Again, I'm going to take my brush, dip in a tease. And I'm going to start where I left the um, highlighting color and just nicely blend that in together. And this color, as you can see, is very subtle. So now I'm going to take a very, very shimmery color, and this one is called YDK. Both ends of the brush in that, and I'm just going to go over where I just put T's. I'm basically taking YDK and putting it all over my lid except for the inner corner. So basically all this part here. And then the final color that I'm going to use on my lid is going to be Pistol. Kind of slightly gunmetal brownish color with a little bit of um, shimmer in it.
So now the last step to my eyeshadow is I'm going to use the creaser brush. Any fluffy brush will do, obviously. So again, snake bite, fluffy brush. I will also use the flat side of my brush just to blend in the crease to where my highlighting color is. Again, I just highlighted the inner corner of my eyelid and then I blended a couple of other colors on the lid and a darker color in the crease as well. So now we're going to be moving on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using another Urban Decay product, the 24-7 um, Glide On Eyeliner Pencils. I'm going to be using the color Stash, which is an kind of olive green with a brownish and gold kind of tint to it. That one, and then the other color I'm going to be using it's more of a gun metal. And that one is called Stray Dog. So I'm going to start off with Stray Dog, the lighter color of the two. Now I'm going to use Stash. So now I've underlined the lower lids. And I'm just going to use a regular good old liquid black eyeliner. I actually use two. I use this one which is supposed to be a lash serum. So I'm going to use this one first. It's just one of my routines that I do is I put the serum eyeliner on first and then I go over it again in a darker color. Thus I will show you guys. Alright, so I usually pull my eyelid like this. Taper from the middle get a little bit thicker and I just taper making the outer corner a little bit more curved upward and also a little bit thicker on the outer corner. So now I'm going to go over that liner with the Urban Decay 24-7 liquid liner in perversion. As you can tell I really like Urban Decay products. So this eye is the serum black eyeliner, the physician's formula first, and then I went over it with the perversion. So as you can see, as opposed to this eye, this one, the, the liquid liner is a lot darker. So I just took the initiative to curl my lashes and put on mascara just to save a little bit of time just because you don't, you guys probably don't want to see me applying mascara but I did use the Dior Show Blackout. So a couple of tips on what I usually do to prep my lips before I'm going to wear lipstick is, is I put on just a little bit of lip balm. And this is just the Badger Unscented Sunscreen Natural Lip Balm. 
and I got this at Whole Foods. Yeah, Whole Foods. And I forgot to mention that I do like to use my favorite lip scrub from Lush, which is called Bubblegum. As you can see, I broke the freaking lid, but it's pink. It's really pretty, and it tastes so freaking amazing. I've never tasted anything as good as this. Like, I could seriously eat this whole tub in like one sitting is crazy how good it tastes. It's just um castor sugar, jojoba oil, and flavoring, so it is safe to not like eat it, but you know, lick it off after you're done. So just one of the things that I really like is this bubblegum lip scrub from Blush. And it is kind of expensive. It's like seven or eight dollars, which is really expensive for just like flavored sugar but it tastes so good and I don't know where to get things that taste like this bubblegum flavor so I really like that and it's also really good um it the jojoba oil does moisturize your lips so then I usually rub my I'm talking as I'm doing that I usually rub that lip balm off because I don't like to um, have it on when I apply my lip liner so this is the L'Oreal Infallible 6 Hour Lip Liner. Never fail lip liner, excuse me. And this is just in the color Nude. Obviously you're going to want to take your time when doing your lip liner. <laughs> so, as you can see I've lined my lips. And another tip I forgot to share with you guys is that if I am going to be going out, I usually like to put the primer potion. I know it's an eyeshadow primer potion and they make lip ones, but the lip ones are like 20 bucks. So I like to put a little bit of the primer potion on my lips before I put on my lipstick sometimes if I'm going out and stuff, like I said. And it does actually really, really help keep it on. So that's just another tip if you have an eyeshadow primer potion or any sort of primer. So now I'm going to be using two lipsticks and the first one is this ancient but my f this is my all-time number one favorite lip color and this is a Kat Von D lipstick from Sephora and this is the color Misfit and they stopped making this color and I'm very very upset about that but I still have a little bit left so I'm going to be using this color, and it's, this color is like a rum raisin red. And then I'm going to be using Urban Decay lipstick. If you're interested in hearing more about the Urban Decay lipstick, I did do a review on these. So go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to check that video out. I'm going to start off with Gash. There she is. And like I said, it's a true blood red color. It has a bit of a magenta undertone, at least in my opinion. So as you can see, I applied a couple coats there. So now I'm going to go ahead with the Misfit Kat Von D. And I'm using this because, like I said, the other one has kind of a, a gentle undertone to it, even though it's supposed to be true blood red. So I'm adding this one on top just to make it a little bit more pigmented and more red than pink. Then sometimes I also like to take the tip, the outer rim, and kind of like define this is pretty much the final look um, if you are interested in putting gloss on top I will show you how to do that as well because normally I do like to have a glossy lip I'm just going to use these two as examples Urban Decay Lip Junkie and Naked and then this is just 
Some other brand that I have, Italia Deluxe in number one, 3D Magic Diamond Gloss. Um, just I, I'm just going to use any sort of um, sparkly gloss. And this one has a little bit of shimmer too, but sometimes if I do want to downplay the redness of my lips and I don't like how it contrasts with the darkness of my um, the crease in my eye, sometimes if I do the color a little bit too dark, it doesn't really look quite right with the dark lips. So you really want to go for really natural, kind of not necessarily nude, but definitely downplay the browns and the blacks and the darker colors because that usually the contrast just doesn't work with the bright lips and then the dark eyes. It's just too much. For me especially, it really horrifies me like I've done the dark eye and then the lips and then it's oh but moving on I'm just gonna use a sparkly gloss only on the outside of my lip or as you can see only here not here I'm gonna take naked then just put a tiny bit right in the middle. Just trying to give you guys an overall view of the finished look. So, I'm sure most of you have heard this and I'm going to say it again, but when you are wearing dark lipstick, you do want to go for a little bit more of a under, like, more modest eye. So, definitely don't go with that super crazy smoky eye if you're going to be wearing dark lips. Especially if you're really fair skinned, it just... The contrast, like I said before, just doesn't work very well. If you're also interested in a more kind of 50s Lolita kind of look, you can also just skip the eyeshadow completely together and just apply a thicker winged eyeliner. If you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on a more winged eyeliner with more of a kind of 50s retro look, please leave a comment. I would love to do a tutorial on that because I really love the whole... Um, kind of Betty Page 50s retro look. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely let me know. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. Just leave me a comment if you'd like to see any other tutorials, or of course, thumbs up if you like this one. I'll definitely try and do some more. So thanks again so much for watching. I always appreciate it when you guys watch my videos. Have a good day. Bye.